Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura Rose Greenwood and this is my first ever video on YouTube. <laughs> I have wanted to do YouTube for a very long time. I've wanted to put my stuff out there for a while now um, and I just think what better time to start it than now. A time like the present, you know? <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna answer a few questions um, that I've I've kind of prepared for myself, and I'm gonna do my makeup whilst we're doing it because personally, watching someone sit there isn't that interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna do my makeup now. Obviously, I'm absolutely no makeup professional. Please don't hold me to anything that I'm saying, but yeah, I just I think it's something nice to do while we're having a bit of a chat. Before we get into the video, um, I have already prepped my skin and put the foundation on. Um, to prep my skin, I just used, well, I washed my face and then I put the vitamin C eye cream on from Boots and I put Superdrug Vitamin C Nourishing Gel on my face before I put on my foundation. And just to let everybody out there know, if your skin is having a crisis, that's the cream. You need that genuinely i don't know about anybody else but after christmas my skin was like so bad because of how much like rubbish i was eating over christmas and that was a saving grace so if you're struggling girl i got you anyway i just put on some foundation i used the morphe don't ask me what kind of one it is i don't know it's number two so <laughs> that's what i use and i put that on with a beauty blender i don't know why i'm talking like you guys are bothered about what i'm saying Anyway, so yeah, like I said, my name is Laura Rose Greenwood. I'm 23 years old. I'm really hoping that this channel is a place where people feel like they can come and just chill and watch the videos. And I just, I want it to be that kind of vibe where it's like friends, like I'm talking to a friend. I want to create that content that when I was younger, I was looking for and couldn't find. So I really want this channel to be about lifestyle. I don't know about anybody else, but I love watching vlogs, day-to-day -day things. And I am a sucker for buying clothes, okay? Not even just clothes. I'm a sucker for buying everything. Everything. So a few hauls will definitely be on the agenda. Um, and I have like a few exciting things coming up in my life that I feel like I would want to watch. So... If no one wants to watch it, that's fine. You don't have to stay, but please do. Genuinely, if you do like this video, please give it a like. If you want to listen to me blab on in another video, please subscribe. <laughs> anyway, but because I've done the base, I usually just go straight onto my eyebrow using the Revolution Dip Brow Promade with a Morphe brush. I love these like angle brushes when you do your eyebrows. I think they're just so accurate. Anyway, a little bit about me. I'm 23 years old. I live in the Wirral in Merseyside. Uh, it's just across the waters from Liverpool, if that helps anybody, because I know when I was younger, I had no idea where the Wirral was. <laughs> I'm originally from Halifax in West Yorkshire. Went to university in Preston for three years and studied acting. And that is actually where I met my boyfriend. So yeah, as well as being a professional actor, obviously at the minute, because of COVID, the acting world has been so quiet and nothing has happened in so long for any of us and it has been so hard and believe me i cannot wait to get back on that stage but in the meantime i actually work at an independent green grocers which is on the high street by where we live in the Wirral, and i love it when i say that people think that i work like in a market it's like just a shop like it's like an independent shop selling fruit and veg and flowers and stuff it is genuinely one of the best jobs. <laughs> I basically worked in hospitality all my life. So I've been working since I was 14 and literally every single job that I've had has been in hospitality. Hospitality is one of those things where you always leave, but you will always go back. That's what I've done for, how many years is it from 14? Nine years, yeah always left thinking I'd never want to go back to hospitality but then I always went back. Now I have fully left hospitality now. I don't think that I'll be going back. We're enjoying the bank holidays off too much. It's bank holiday Monday right now while I'm filming this that's why I'm saying that. <laughs> I just think that sometimes in life you outgrow a certain profession 
and while I love and will always appreciate hospitality I just think it's not for me anymore until I can be like my own boss you know like in my own restaurant bar whatever then I kind of don't want to work for anyone else in hospitality until it's my own business if that makes sense but yeah that doesn't mean that I wouldn't consider going back you know for the odd shift but I think now that I'm out of it and the job that I genuinely could not love more then you know I think you just know when you know that you've grown out of something you know what I mean but yeah anyway that's where I'm working at the minute and it's brilliant obviously my aim and my end goal is to be an actor and make it in the acting industry but because of covid it has literally been so quiet i cannot tell you the last time that i had an audition <laughs> but it's just the way the cookie crumbles at the moment and it's fine if you're patient think good things come right good things come to those who wait that's the saying and that's what we're living by guys because that's the positivity that we need in 2021 okay so i've done my eyebrows not very well <laughs> whoops usually now i will go on to the eyeshadow now i'm obviously just staying at home so i'm not gonna go crazy the palette that i'm absolutely loving using at the moment is this jaclyn hill morphe palette and genuinely can we just take a minute can we just take a minute to appreciate that beautiful i'm gonna go in with shade smooth criminal <laughs> dun 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 dance break so a good question that i thought was a good insight as to what this channel might be about is who do i love on youtube now i am absolutely obsessed and when i say obsessed i mean i'm watching as soon as the video comes out huh? i'm there waiting with the premiere sign on it i'm obsessed with ellie darby i cannot cope with her and her life and i just want to be her i love what she stands for kind of motive in life i just love her in general if i'm being completely honest her videos just relax me they make me feel like really normal and like i'm talking to a friend or you know, like i just feel i don't know super cozy i watch them with a cup of tea and it's just really nice oh you know when it just doesn't blend the way that you want it to winds me up so yeah, I love Megan Grobe. I think she's amazing. Who doesn't love Molly May? If you don't, get off. No, I'm joking. Please say it. <laughs> so that is the kind of content that I am wanting to put out there. Things that are relatively similar to what they do, but I obviously want it to be unique in my own way. And I'm not sure if I've already said this on the video, but I really, really have wanted to start YouTube for a long time and I've just never had the courage to do it. I think that so often we all worry about what other people are gonna think or people that we don't necessarily even speak to anymore. Just like, even if it's random people, like we all worry about what people think. And I have just allowed that to get the better of me for so long. Recently, I've just thought, why not? Why not just go for it? Uh, here we are <laughs> going for it so i thought to avoid confusion in the future i would just kind of state my situation on camera now i essentially moved in with my boyfriend in october last year i moved in when the tier system was announced because we went the first lockdown without seeing each other and it ended up being around four months we found that pretty difficult and just for ease for us both we thought if it's gonna happen again, let's just make the move. So we did, and I, I don't know what Matt will say. I've loved every minute of it. I think he has too. He will even probably say that, to be honest with you. We have just had the best time so far living together. It's just always a good time, you know? It's always a good time. Whoa, whoa. If you know, you know. Tune. Just a quick break, just to let you all know what I'm going in with next like anybody cares i'm gonna be going in with access which is this cutie patootie so i made the move in october and we kind of didn't really know how things were going to work how long the tier system was going to be in place for so i guess we saw it as like an indefinite move and as we all know it's not been very clear throughout the whole of this pandemic <laughs> when we're going to be able to do anything so we kind of looked at that and thought that's it 
you live here now and that's that so i went on the job hunt and i managed to land my feet got a job at a restaurant i loved working there but unfortunately it didn't work out and they had to let me go because of covid they had to prioritize the staff that were there before me understandably so then i was left jobless in the middle of a pandemic no one wants that like not for one minute am i sitting here being like woe is me because genuinely people have had it so much worse than me and i cannot be more grateful for the position that i've found myself in now yeah i'm just purely saying this just to let you guys know where i'm at in life and like who i am and you know whatnot so yeah unfortunately i had to be let go from the job at the restaurant and then luckily enough i got the job that i'm in now at the green grocers and like i said to you before i couldn't be happier that i landed on my feet like that just kind of solidified to me that everything really does happen for a reason <laughs> do you think that's just crazy though if i never lost that other job i would have never been working where i am now so i don't know i just really believe in stuff like that do you is that weird people sometimes look at me like what like what the hell are you on about in my opinion it truly does and you know i think if you believe in it and you put it out there into the universe you will receive that back so i don't know i'm done with my eyes now i failed miserably at making that look nice i think i'm just gonna go underneath the eyes with the remaining bits of the brown brush just used in the corner of my eyes uh the shade coin with a small another small brush and just tapped it in there like that so yeah okay next we're gonna go in with the max factor 2000 calorie mascara i am so bad at like knowing what's good for your face like to make things accentuate or whatever i just bought this online oh gosh a while ago now probably should get a new one i bought this online and i love it so i would 100 recommend it oh gosh bear with me does anyone else pull like the ugliest face when they do mascara like i literally find myself looking in the mirror anyway so that's my situation that's where i'm at right now so if anyone cares then there you go I just really want this channel to be about positive energy, good vibes. I really want it to be something that people want to watch and not just kind of doing it to like help with the views. Like I genuinely want to be making things that people are interested in. Speaking of which, if anybody's got any suggestions of any videos, please comment below or message me personally and let me know because any help, honestly, is appreciated right now <laughs> i'm just as new to this as a three-year-old toddler so anything would be perfect <laughs> next for the bronzer i actually don't know what this is it's called gold waves bronzer i think you know like when your like family give you things and they're like oh do you want this i don't want it anymore like my grandma gave me this she gave me this like a few months ago I should probably get another one but anyway i just think it's so cute look at that and it smells like chocolate and it's oh it's just beautiful anyway i'll be using this for my bronze with the morphe big brush do you know what i actually go ham on bronzer you know i think it's because when i was younger and when we all used to wear that dream matte mousse we all used to use like this saint moritz bronzer and oh my god this thing was orange and i swear to god I would ham it on. So now I don't use like proper orange stuff. I use things that actually look good for my skin tone. I'm still like, <laughs> sorry. I just want this to be really real and raw and true and honest and who I am as a person and really transparent. I personally will not hide anything. I won't be scared to say my opinion. I'm not worried about who's watching because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me and if other people find interest in that then that's amazing and if not it's fine like it is what it is I need to stop saying that I say it all the time it is what it is something goes wrong I'm like oh it's what it is and I just need to stop saying it for highlight I'll be using the one the only Fenty Beauty honey it's a classic let's not lie trophy wife out you want me it's Chung Lee. Oh my god, I've not stopped doing the little dance breaks. It's embarrassing. Uh, and don't ask me what brush this is, please, because I think I got it in like 2018. 
oh there's nothing better also i would love to apologize for the any background noise that you may hear i have two-year-old and seven-month-old niece and nephew downstairs and i have 23 year old boyfriend playing on cod next door and we can all imagine how lovely those sounds are i'm gonna just quickly do my lips and i am obsessed with this lip combo you probably know but maura higgins from love island he brought out like a collection with and i don't know how to say this is it inglot i don't know that's the that's it's probably back to front sorry but that's what i'm using this lip liner and this this colour. What colour are we on? Lip satin. I usually overline my lips a little bit. Who doesn't? Let's be honest. So yeah, when I line my lip, I usually put most of it on my lips, to be honest. And then with the actual lipstick, I just tend to like go in the middle with it. So you kind of get that ombre I don't know, I look rubbish, but it is what it is. And then to finish it off, oh, is anyone else like obsessed with Madison Beer at the minute? Because I can't get over like how someone can be that perfect. So I was having a really down day the other week and accidentally ordered like all of her collection with Morphe. So I use this all the time. It's the Madison Beer Seal the Deal Illuminous Setting Spray. And oh, it's just beautiful. I love it. Usually my go-to like ride or die setting spray is this. I don't even know where it's from. Oh, it's Avon. It's the Magics spray by Avon. Holy this spray. If you're going out on Tuesday, this will keep your makeup on until Saturday morning, honey. Trust me on that one. This is more my like fashionable bit of a glow so yeah <laughs> that's the end of me doing my makeup and that is i think the end of the questions that i got if you enjoyed this video please 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 give it a thumbs up and please subscribe it would help me out so much i'm gonna try my best and look to upload at least once a week um i would love to upload maybe on a thursday or possibly a sunday so if you um have any suggestions for good days that you think are good to upload then please let me know any advice is always welcome. As I said, I am literally a beginner at this and I'm just trying to make, just trying to make the dream, the dream work, guys. Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone.